What's up guys? Today we got a very limited edition Matco Friday. That's right. A Matco video on a Friday. So y'all buckle up. Let's go. Told everybody we was having a super rare Matco Friday today because Hamilton's off, so. Hey, that's all right. We got a Matco video on a Friday. Just as long as there's a Matco video someday, right? Colored scraper sets, huh? Yeah, we've got those in. Um, they're in a sales flyer in my region, so we got those. Um, there's actually a Matco sign that was in the, the flyer as well, so we've got it stuffed back there, but. Uh, we've got it on the truck too, so yeah. it's good for somebody's uh, carport, garage, man mm -hmm. cave, shop, just whatever. Um, got it in there. Still doing a good giveaway on the gun. Um, got a Mako. There's been a lot of dealers um, that pre-ordered the little pager. Yeah, pictures. the the. Um, like I'm, I'm so old school. I had a real working pager. I've never had a real working pager, like, so. Um, I saw videos on them, but I ain't uh, <laughs> saw them in movies, I guess I should say, but, yeah. um, people like those. And then a lot of the dealers pre-ordered, uh, they had some, uh, actual bump boxes, the bigger ones that was wrapped in the, uh, Maco and the, their, all the pre-orders are gone. So, uh, if your dealer don't have any, there's not any, there's not getting any night run right now. So, yeah. but, uh, yeah. It's uh, definitely been a week, but we still got uh, one of our hoodies left. Cool deal. You must have sold a bunch of those sets like that we showed. Yeah, I've sold a bunch of sets, and then I've actually used that one and another one that I had just for warranty purposes. Um, that way when somebody breaks one of the bits or loses one of the tens or uh, just whatever it might be, I'd have an extra ready to go. Yeah. Um, so I've, I've got two and I've kind of been reordering it and just putting them on there. Everybody knows now if they got a broken one, they come in and go straight to it and they bring me both of them, the broken <laughs> one and the good one. So These are pretty neat pick sets. Yeah. Um, I don't sell a whole lot of those picks there. And uh, the main reason I don't sell that particular pick set um, is because every other pick that I have has a lifetime warranty. Those, however, do not. Oh. Um, now they're they're cheap. I mean, they're a good price. Um, but when it comes to a pick, it's almost guaranteed to break. So yep. when I do sell that, it's it's prefaced with, "Hey, this has no warranty." The guy usually doesn't care. It's look, I, I'm not looking to spend a whole lot to have picks. So mm -hmm. uh, I have sold one guy two sets. Um, but he says they're cheap enough that he don't care, so. Um, I like those HD picks that you guys have got. Yeah. The real heavy ones with the, the big thick handles on them. Right, yeah. They're nice. I think my favorite ones are actually in that drawer right there, which most people don't even know I have drawers here. Uh, I have people on my route still today that don't know these drawers are here. Mm -hmm. But I like these, uh, and I, I tell people, start with one or the other usually the short one and then later on get you a longer one because right. they're going to come in handy too um yeah i bought the high vis one to put on the service truck i like them too i'm getting to where if i bought anything now it would be all high vis just because it's so hard to find stuff when it falls mm -hmm. down between the motor and down on the frame um, you're still young well wait till you get old I think it's more just being stubborn now. It, it, <laughs> and we're used to, it was, okay, I can raise it up, get it, I can find it, it's no problem. Now it's just, there's the drill bits that everybody loves. Mm -hmm. But uh, now it just makes me mad when I drop something, especially a socket. Like, if, if my extensions to the, if, if it's wore out enough that it drops my socket, it makes me mad. I, I, I get it warranty pretty quick at that point. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know I had a locking extension that I've had I guess it was one of the first tools that I bought and I was doing a, a job the other day and I had a uh, swivel on it and I still cannot find my swivel. 
I have no idea where it is. It was a Maco ADV 8. I don't know where it's at, but I paid 40 something dollars for it because it was a pinless design. No, it was the ADV, so it wasn't a pinless, so I didn't pay that much for it. But either way, at the time I thought I did, and I, it made me mad. And I, I'm still upset that I lost that socket. <laughs> but I, I'm telling you. Man, I've taken crap apart that was just awful to get a tool back, you know. And well, it beat, it wasn't the principle of it, of the money of it. It's, I knew where it went, so yeah. I was going to get it, you know. And, well, and on this, when I was in the uh, dealership and had racks and stuff, it, it wasn't no problem to spend that time to raise it up, lower mm -hmm. it down, you know. I can't tell you the times that the service advisor would be like, hey, is it done? Yeah, it's it's almost done. What do you like finding my tools? Yeah. So, uh, when, it, when you're at your house and you're doing it on the grass and you hear it drop and you, you're having to crawl under it and then mm -hmm. get back out and crawl under it. And man, I could, I, I don't know. At this point, I don't know if it's in the grass or somewhere else because on this particular one, um, I had the front chunk out, I had the front rack out, um, the motor was tore down to nothing but a block. I mean, literally I could stand in the, the hood area with my feet on the ground and look on top of the transmission. Like, I have no idea where that socket went. Wow, but that sucks. I don't know, and I've run a magnet over the ground, I, I don't know. But that, that vehicle's running, so it didn't go in anything, and the motor, the heads wasn't even off the um, truck at that time because I was actually taking one of the bolts out. It was on the valve cover or something then when it fell, so I know the heads were still on it. I don't know where it is. But either way, that extension, that extension got changed out real quick. <laughs> Luckily, I know a Maco dealer and I got that took care of. There you go. Well, we all know about the limited edition pink and I heard that they was completely sold out. You can't get them anymore. They are sold out. Um, happened pretty quick but I also heard and we're going to talk about that now that they're doing the 2779 in blue which yep. is really cool they are going to do a blue and they're actually doing it a little different than the pink it's still going to be limited quantities however um, it's going to be a pre-order type of deal so if you think that you might want one do not wait on your dealer to get any in yeah because you gotta speak up and that way they can order it right because it ain't gonna be um, it's not a standard color at all right uh and, w and when i when i say this don't take it the wrong way if you're thinking about it let your dealer know you're thinking about it i'm not saying run to him and tell him to order one and then when it come in you say oh well i was just thinking about mm -hmm. it no let him know say hey look i'm really really thinking about getting one of the blue impacts yeah. that way he can make the decision then him or her, however it may be, can make the decision of, do I order one for them to have it in their hand, look at and see, let them make that call. But at that time, you've at least told them that you're interested in one. Mm -hmm. That way when they come in and that distributor didn't order one, you can go, hey, I told you I was interested, but you ain't got nothing left, so sorry. Yep. You know, at least let them know you're interested. And if you know for a fact that you want one, go ahead and send your distributor a text call them go on their truck i don't care how you do it but at least let them know that you want it because it's going to kind of be hard to know how many to pre-order um mm -hmm. i'm even fighting that myself because i've sold a lot of the 2779s already a lot of the 16 uh or the 1769s were sold a lot of people out there with impacts so it's hard to know how many to order because you yeah. don't know how many people's willing to trade one in or just buy out another yeah. one so go ahead and work that deal with your Maco dealer if you've got one that you want to trade tell them you want to trade one in work that deal mm -hmm. now but uh, just keep in mind it's limited edition so if you drop it and bust a housing that means you ain't getting another blue one back or another pink one back you know it may be this lovely gorgeous maroon or it may be red yeah, or, or orange or green I, I don't or know what color who knows shoes. but you ain't getting a blue in back if right. you screw it up so, so make i mean make sure you know that and everything so if, if you really want a blue one and you're one of these people that put it in a cover 
and are going to protect it, that's great. If you're one of these guys that take the air hose and just drop it on the ground, yeah, that may not be the impact for you. I'm not trying to lose like any <laughs> dealer lose a sale, but <coughs> if you're buying it because it's blue and you're not going to take care of it, yeah. you're not going to have a blue one very long. You know, but it is what it is. It ain't going to be a standard color. It ain't going to be a permanent color. They're just doing it this, at least this run is going to be run, a limited I don't know. edition. And it's, it's for a cause also. Um, it was for the veterans right. homes or, you know, or to house veterans or something while they're in, right. a, um, so, well, in a hospital or something. Let me see if I can get the. Seems uh, like it was for the veterans families to put them up while they're in, in getting medical treatment. I believe let's right. See. Uh, Pretty cool. I know it's uh, Tools for a Call. Fisher House Foundation supports active military and veterans families by providing a place to stay free of charge while a loved one is in the hospital. Um, so that that's the cause that we're going with. Um, that's why we're, we're, we've got the blue coming up. I'm not going to say that if, if we if we kill it and we, we, you know, we order so many pre-orders that it just slaps them in the face, they may say, okay, we're going to have blue. If it falls on its face, they may say, okay, well, that's, you know, we don't, that's why it was limited quantities. I don't know yep. what they're going to do, but either way, as long as we understand that it, that it is limited quantity and that we have to speak up now and say, hey, we want it, um, because they're not giving us very long to pre-order it. Um, we're talking about, it says pre-order from October the 11th through the 22nd. So, yeah, uh, the beginning of next week, you only we're got be, seven days from today to get your order in. So. Yeah, I mean, we we're talking about next week at this time, we're we're through done being able to order them. So that's right. Either call your dealer now, text them. Don't be, don't let it slip your mind. Don't let it be one of those things that you say, "Holy crap, I forgot to tell them." Um, so yeah. So <coughs> just remember, it's limited run. So it is there limited run. I know these are one of my favorite. Matco lights right here. Yeah. I'm buying a green one and a pink one of these, and Bill had an orange one. And I like those lights a lot. So I get asked all the time um, because when people think of lights, the first thing they want to do is they want to buy a handheld stream light or something like that. Tell and, me one like that? Yeah. And, yeah. And those are nice for when you're doing um, just... I like it when you're looking at stuff. That's what not I was say, working on stuff. When you're inspecting or you're trying to upsell or you're trying to find a problem, that's it. That's mm -hmm. the go-to. But when you're actually working on it... You, yeah, those suck working. I, I mean, you need both hands. So um, those have become really popular. The power probe uh, lights here become popular just because you can have four different lights in four different spots yeah. uh, or all in one. It doesn't matter. Uh, so those have become popular. These are, these have always been popular too, just because they can be handheld mm -hmm. and have the magnet. <coughs> um, I like them because they're thin enough you can shove down in spots. That's too. right. Get it down and find out what's going on. Um, the only the only problem I have with these is uh, if you're not real careful uh, and you over tighten the base, it will crack, and mm -hmm. then you don't have your magnet no more. So I wish that was a little different, but I still really love the light, and I'd still use one um i have to be careful though because i'm bad about when i'm doing a job and i get done with it i take all my tools gather them up together and then take them back to my box to to organize it i don't i don't want to stack a whole bunch of stuff on that lot when i gather it up because yeah. it is thin there yeah. and i don't want to break it whereas They're pretty tough though because you know I've got they a, are you know, mine's not a matco version but i do have the same light and man it's I don't know. I've dropped it, and I thought that's it. Like it, thing's got to be broke, you know. But so you know, I think you're the one that actually pointed it out to me. Um, it most people don't know that they have um, several different settings on the light. Mm -hmm. it, um, I think after that, I I'd, I'd already sold a bunch of them, and you showed me. I think it was on one of the videos, and I went back to them, and they didn't even know it. So they lo they loved it even more. But I keep one hanging on the back wall there, just so people can see the brightness of it and yeah, they're super thin like, i have I, to show I people love though, those lights i have to show them they forget that it has a front light so they're mm -hmm. pressing the button and they're like hey I ain't doing nothing yep. it's like yeah hold on those t little tip lights actually come in really handy too when you're yeah shining down in something like right. i didn't think honestly 
when I first got mine, I thought this this light on the end is kind of worthless. You know? Yeah. But I catch myself using it a lot. You know, looking down in something. Well, you know, when I first started being a tech, um, talking about worthless, I'm gonna go into something else that I've got on the truck. I used to think that the only two sockets a person ever needed was either a shallow, which we all know what a shallow mm-hmm. socket is, or a deep. I right. mean, why would you need anything else? You either need it short or you need it deep. Mm-hmm. As I've started doing more and more, I've quickly realized the importance of the mid-depth. Yeah. And that's something that as a tech, I never had. I never mm-hmm. had a mid-depth. And it's not until I owned a tool truck and you know that I've actually had some and there's yeah, a I lot like of jobs I could have done sockets. quicker. Yeah. You know, there's no telling how many times that the, the long socket was too long. The short socket, of course, was too, you know, short. too short, but I mm-hmm. made it work, but I had to fight it to get it in there. Had to, you know, whereas I could have just took that mid-depth socket. So I keep those on the truck now. And I've actually got the ADV on here now is also um, just because the price point on them mm-hmm. makes it to where all your starting out techs and everything like that can have them on here and you know they can get them but yeah um the importance of the right tool right having the flashlight that can go down beside the belt to see you know what's going on down there is it is there a seal leaking behind the pulley yeah it, it's all nice and great if you have a lift you can lift it up right quick and look but you know sometimes you're not on you, your lifts tied up with a bigger job and you're trying to look at one in your spare bay or out in the parking lot or whatever it might be to be able to take a light like that shove mm-hmm. it down in there turn it on it, it makes it worth it so that is correct sir um between um this week the two top sellers have actually been the flashlights um different styles but also the pullers for the ls engines i don't know what's going on with them right now but it seems like everybody needs an ls pulley puller mm-hmm. um we all know they're different and they're kind of stubborn if you don't have the right tools so um I took three phone calls yesterday with people needing them, you know. So, uh, if you haven't got one, you might look to try to get one pretty quick before before, before you they're need sold it, out. <laughs> before you need it, uh, it always happens like that. It always happens in waves. I mean, I had three torque wrenches on here at the beginning of the week, and torque wrenches is one of those usually slow selling things. You yeah. only sell it when you need it. I've sold every one I had this week and took two more orders for one. So cool. You know, those are expensive, so people don't normally buy them until they absolutely need them. So between having the LS uh, pulley puller or torque wrench, apparently we're doing a lot of motor work right now. We're off of the electrical, we're off the brakes. Mm-hmm. You know, I was I was really wanting to try out that tool that I showed last week, the hydraulic um, brake tool, but I haven't went in a shop this week that anybody was doing brakes. Uh, it's all been bigger work, so yep. just just whatever they need. <laughs> all right well guys that's gonna wrap it up on this limited edition matco friday one, one thing though okay i want to ask that all everybody that watches it i want you to comment on something that you want on a tool truck that you it's not there that you've always thought that should be there uh, if you have one of those comment it send it to me in a text send it to me on my uh facebook however you need to do it let me know because i'm i'm wanting help trying to stock the truck with different stuff we all know there needs tools, right? And that's yeah. the point of a tool truck. But what's something else that, for these guys that say, I have everything I need, what's something that would get you on a tool truck that, that you would buy, you know, and I'm not talking about just random, you know, stuff. I'm talking about something that you can actually see needing where you work that you would buy that would make your job easier. So if you can comment that for me and help me out, I appreciate it. Uh, and we may even turn it into a contest where uh, whoever gets the winning um, item that I start stocking, you may receive a prize in the mail. So There you go. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. Y'all have a great week. See ya.